Hello and welcome to your number one SME's lifestyle program, Passion to Success, on Africa Independent Television, AIT. I am Ihotu Odo. The challenge of unemployment, job creation and skills development, and training in order for gainful employment to become a reality for more people is likely to become accentuated. Considering the era when the forces of economy are highly fluctuating and are becoming unstable, technical and vocational education and training appeared as one of the major counterbalance forces that would transform the economy by creating skilled workforce that could operate independently in the labor market. They started small. I fix phone, I sell phone parts. I started with small money. With 17 naira. I could be able to do a stool. I started this business with 15,000 naira. With passion, they succeeded. In less than three years, I, I made over 1,000 pieces of children. My passion is makeup. I have trained more than 50 youths. Passion to success brings you inspiring profiles of people who dare to chase their dreams and turn their passion hobbies into successful careers. I did even I get a government job after school. I, I used the government job to raise capital and still go back to the agriculture. I've sold okra in the market, pepper, rice. I fried a car, I roasted corn on the street. But look at me, I don't look like it. I keep telling people, you can't start big. Something you don't know about, how do you start big? Who is going to give you the money? You're going to lose all that money because you don't even know what you're doing. No matter whatever you are trying to do, do it and do it very well. Forget who is laughing or who is mocking or who is behind looking or watching. Just focus. Watch African entrepreneurs share their passion to success on Africa Independent Television AIT Abuja every Saturday at 1 p.m. Watch us on YouTube on Passion to Success TV or like us on Facebook on Passion to Success. For details of sponsorship or advert placements, please call 0803-368-3243. Passion to Success. Start small, grow big. Here is a preview of what's coming up in today's show. Adams, a graduate from Abubakar Tafar Balewa University, Bochi, he's into footwear and bags. Adams preferred and chose to put into use his craft of shoemaking, which he was passionate about throughout his childhood over his certificate. Let's join Adams Aduji as he shares his passion on your number one SME's lifestyle program, Passion to Success. Stay with us.
is one this trade they call it the moccasin trade this is manual stitching like what you can see it's a manual stitching then this one is industrial stitching with this industrial machine called One to hundred is, is capital. One bad advice to them is that let them get, get something doing and doing it well. Not just doing it, but doing it well. In five years from now, I see myself as a big company and household name. <laughs> My personal success is hard work and 
creativity. You can watch more inspiring videos of Passion to Success on our YouTube channel at Passion to Success TV and subscribe or you can like us on our Facebook page at Passion to Success. This information is right on your screen. Lona Rutu is Kenya's inspiring and successful African waste entrepreneur who left a comfortable banking job to start a company that manufactures fencing posts from recycled plastic waste. Her plastic posts have become a favorite alternative to timber. Her innovative idea of converting plastic waste to a useful material is estimated to have saved nearly 250 hectares of Kenya's forest, which would have been destroyed to produce timber. Here is a special report of African waste entrepreneur, Lona Rutu. Lona Ruto is one businesswoman who doesn't mind getting her hands dirty, in an eco-friendly manner that is. About a year ago, she decided to break away from her comfortable bank job to pursue her lifelong dream to create a sustainable green business that recycles and manages plastic waste in Kenya. The risk has paid off for Lorna in green dividends. She was recently selected as a laureate for Sub-Saharan Africa in the Cartier Women's Initiative Award and also won the Green and Ecology Award in the Enablers Business Plan competition. The EcoPost brand of posts is rapidly becoming a suitable replacement for timber in Kenya and is being used for fencing on farms, around homes, national parks and commercial premises. The problem is very serious, like every single day there is over 10,000 plus uh, of, uh, metric tons of waste that is generated into the city, into the country. And uh, in Nairobi city alone there is 2,800 metric tons generated every day. And then 20% of this is normally plastic. This waste is normally thrown everywhere, littering the streets, clogging sewers, encroaching people's homes. Um, the situation is so bad and uh, I don't see any much um, efforts from the policy makers and even the government to clean, clean up this uh, menace that goes everywhere into the environment. So um, there is a serious need for us to look for a better way of disposing of this uh, plastic sustainably. And that's how we came up with manufacturing of our plastic posts. We have collection yet set up all over around the country where we normally go and collect our plastic waste. Then we transport them to the uh, factory for processing. From here we have uh, se several women who normally uh, prepare the material, uh, removing uh, items like bones, stones and metal that we don't need for the production. Then we shred the plastics into small pieces, around 5 millimeters in there. And uh, diameter and for the flimsy plastics, those are the uh, supermarket paper bags. Uh, we use a machine called an agglomerator that uh, m uh, f makes them into uh, into round balls. Um, and then uh, the, sh the big plastics they are shredded into small pieces. Then we mix them at a certain ratio of around 60 to 40, 
and then um, from there we use a machine called an extruder. The extruder is the machine, uh, normally we purchase the extruder from companies uh, that are even do maybe food processing and then we refurbish the front part. The and then we pour the material in the hopper which is pushed into a heated barrel at temperatures of around 250 degrees centigrade. Uh, the plastic is made molten and then it's pushed into a mold and then from the mold um, uh, it's removed and put into a water bath and then it cools down and from there we get our very aesthetic durable poles. Uh, we used to, I used to face so many huge challenges like uh, our machines will be locked inside because due to lack of rent um, they, they even, and then the, the policy makers are, it's actually very difficult for, uh, to gain capital access from uh, maybe even banks, especially as a startup. So it was very difficult for, um, for me to acquire the capital I needed to take this business to the level I needed it to be. And um, so uh, those are some of the other challenges, and especially as a woman also, because the average entrepreneur in this industry is uh, normally male. So I'm normally more scrutinized and uh, maybe criticized and people wonder what are you doing in this? Or why did you leave your job that was paying well? Are you sure you're not mad? Those kind of ones. <laughs> yes, uh, but somehow we, I overcame and uh, uh, glad we're still going strong. At the moment, I, I, we have over 20, uh, 20 people who are directly employed with us and uh, over 300 people were indirectly employed. These are from the people, especially youths and women who are marginalized, the ones who normally collect for us the plastics, the ones who sort and clean, and then even transporting and bringing it here. Uh, these people normally have collection yards from where this material is normally, uh, normally uh, picked and uh, sorted out, then sold, sell to us. Uh, by so doing, we're able to create for them an income, and then they're able to even have better lifestyles and nutrition and even take their children to local schools. Lorna's vision is not only to create much-needed jobs in Kenya, but to conserve and protect one of the country's most valuable assets, its forests. Our forests are in serious decline. This is because there is so much huge demand for timber, for building and construction. So they, it's inevitable. As compared to 1980, when we had over 10 percent forest cover, our forests are, are declining at a very uh, uh, huge uh, in speed. And uh, we are going to lose all our forests if we don't do something about it. So our posts are actually providing a suitable alternative. And by so doing, we're able to protect our forests, which act as carbon sink. And that, that means uh, we reduce the carbon dioxide emission into the environment. And also by pro protecting our forests, that means we are protecting our water catchment areas. And um, also uh, conserving uh, the environment for our wildlife to live in. So far, I can say every day we do 150 posts. That means we are conserving six trees, and uh, for uh, six for the six trees we use 1,000 kilograms of plastic waste that we get from the environment. I can clear. I can now say for sure we've saved around 250 acres of our forest, and we intend to even save much, much more. According to the World Bank, Africa generates nearly 70 million tons of waste every.
You're chilling when the rain You're some kind of butterfly Baby, you give me a bit that I You whip up my appetite Your life truly begins to count when you focus on the things that really matter. Love, hope, and faith. Your life will matter to people when your love is expressed in genuine service to them. Your life will matter to you when your hope is expressed through your exciting vision of tomorrow. Your life will matter to God when your faith is unshakable. And without faith, you can't please God. Faith connects you to the invisible powers you never knew you possessed. Next week, I will tell you why you shouldn't compare yourself with anybody in this world. Remember, success is your birthright. The world is your province. The universe has been designed to treat your witches as commands. Just because you're a king, live full with power and passion. I'm doing just that. Don't wait till you have things. See you next week. That is how we round up the package for this week. Until we come your way again next week, keep the passion burning.